favor! Fire! Fire! Upgrades have given Dhanush an extended range from 27 kilometers to 38 kilometers. Electronic upgrades provide pinpoint accuracy, faster laying speeds, target acquisition. The Indian Army is all set to be the world's first to use ramjet-powered 155 Benoamin artillery shells. Yes, you heard that right. Innovative minds at the Indian Institute of Technology in Madras have come up with a way to combine the technology with the lethality of the artillery shells. This seemingly simple-sounding move drastically improved the ranges of these 55 mm shells already being used by the Indian Army. As per some reports, as much as 30-50% range extension can be achieved by using the ramjet technology, researchers at IIT Madras are working with the Army Technology Board. And reports suggest the ramjet-powered shells can be used in any 155mm artillery already in use with the Indian Army. Reports suggest the shells are already undergoing trials at the Department of Aerospace Engineering at IIT Madras in Chennai, while successful trials have been conducted at the Pokharan Field firing ranges in Rajasthan. Artillery shells ranging beyond 105mm up till 155 million are classed as medium and are usually used for bombardment. India's 155mm arsenal includes the Danush, the M777, the Hobbit's howitzer, and the advanced towed artillery gun system still under development. The propulsion provided by ramjets will dramatically improve capabilities of Indian forces along both the China and Pakistan fronts. But what exactly is this technology? The ramjet was designed and patented by the French inventor René Laurent in 1913, but could not be actually tested due since no aircraft could actually go as fast as to test it. Ramjet is an air-breathing jet engine, meaning it requires the forward motion of an engine to get air for combustion and work most efficiently at supersonic speeds. Interestingly, India's BrahMos missile also uses the technology. For years now, weapons developers have been working on combining ramjet technology and artillery explosiveness. But up until now, no military has approved the usage of such prowess. That is, until the Indian Army.